Hi everybody. Today we are going to discuss moment of a couple. What is a couple? Two forces equal in magnitude, opposite in sense and parallel to each other form a couple. Forces should not be in a same line. That means it should not be a collinear force. And the tendency of this couple to rotate the body. It can only rotate the body. If we express this in a coordinate system, Let this be A and the position vector is RA vector and this position vector is RB vector. Uh, let this be B point and let the position vector between the two forces be R vector. Setting uh, R vector equal to R A minus R B, R A minus R gives R B. So R A vector minus R B vector. So setting like this, if we take moment of this force about O, so moment vector is R cross F vector. So this moment is called moment of a couple. And the important point here is the R vector is independent of the O. So it is independent of the choice of O. You take another, uh, for example, another point O dash. If you take moment about O dash, the R is not going to change. You'll get still R vector. Okay. So um, how do we express this first uh, with uh, M -A, uh, R A and R B? M vector equal to R A vector cross F vector plus R B vector minus F vector. So this leads to R cross F vector. This is nothing but the varying nuns principle. Okay. So now uh, since it is independent of the choice of O, this the M vector is a free vector. That means we can move a couple anywhere in a system. So moment of a couple or couple is a free vector. Its magnitude would be equal to force into perpendicular distance. That means um, if this force F Sorry, D is nothing but R sine theta. The important characteristics of uh, the moment of a couple, if we uh, have two couples uh, acting on parallel planes or in the same plane, Right. Uh, if the if both the couples produce same moment, then that is called that is equivalent couple. So equivalent couple. When it is equivalent.
say for example we have a force 50 50 the perpendicular distance is 20 units and we have another force hundred hundred ten units okay now moment of this force as per the definition 50 into 20 thousand units maybe Newton meter Newton meter okay so uh, thousand now if you take this moment 100 into 10 equal to thousand units if the sense is same same sense uh, same moment lying in a same plane or or parallel plane so for same moment the condition is f d1 f1 d1 f2 d2 if this has these conditions then the couple uh, two couples are said to be equivalent couples if we have uh, two couples acting on a system a body so uh, how do we add couples so uh, the resultant of the two couples would be equal to the summation of moment of an individual couple so it is moment of a couple m vector then this is m1 vector this is m2 vector so couple can be added or couple vectors can be directly added to get the resultant couple we have a couple like this minus f vector f vector and its direction so it is producing um, a anti clockwise moment so I, we can express like this if you express this in a coordinate system it is equivalent to Since it is a free vector, this could be brought here. And this is also equal to the combinants. So we take mx vector, my vector, m is that vector so anti clockwise maybe anti clockwise anti clockwise anti clockwise so uh, the a vector uh, for a couple vector or uh, moment of a couple could also be expressed in rectangular combinants thank you